Uh, this is an unboxing of books that are distributed by Penguin Random House. Um, and these are books that are on sale. Um, they came out on November 5th, 2019. Okay, let's get started. Pretty good, pretty good amount of books. Um, the first one is called Wild Honey from the Moon by Kenneth Craigle. I think these books are all from Kennewick Press. Um, yes, they are. Um, and so this looks like a kind of a short story. Um, so it looks like a, yeah, a chapter book about a mother, it's a mother bear, curing her sick son. Um, yeah, it looks cute. And it has seven chapters. So, yeah, a lot of illustration. Um, almost like a folk story. All right, that looks interesting. The next one is called the Boy and the Bear, um, and this is a picture book by Tracy Corduroy, illustrated by Sarah Massini, and the bear is blue, that's the first thing I notice. Um, and so it's a story about a bear who wants to play, um, the boy's looking for a best friend, um, and here he is, the boy's drawing a bear. Um, the boy's looking for a bear, the boy's looking for a friend, um, and there's a bear in the area, but he's very shy, and so it's sort of how these two become friends. So it looks like a charming, sweet story, almost a little bit like an, ima like an imaginary friend, um, but instead of being... An imaginary friend, it's an actual bear who's blue, who may be imaginary as well. I'm not quite sure, but like from that picture, I feel like maybe the friendship is imaginary. But um, yeah, I'll have to read it to be sure. Um, the next one is What's Next um, by Timothy Knapman, illustrated by Jane McGinnis, with the raccoon on the cover. Um, and it is about, um, introducing a baby badger. Oh, so it's not a raccoon. It's actually a badger. Sorry. Um, into the world. And what is it like when you're a brand new animal, um, and maybe even a nocturnal animal? Um, what is it like when you finally get to go out and explore? Um, oh, and you get to explore during the day as well. So it looks almost like fiction, but with a little bit of nonfiction. Um, but it also looks like a, uh, a father child uh, story. Anyway, it looks very, very sweet. That is what's next. There's two more. Um, A Day for Skating by Sarah Sullivan, illustrated by Madeline Valentine. Um, definitely, this looks, book looks great for any kind of winter themed, anyone looking for a winter themed book. Um, definitely kind of on um, East Coast or, you know, more anywhere that has snow. Um, and there's skating in a pond. And where we live, actually, we can skate on the Charles River or in ponds, both um, specifically man-made created ponds for skating or actual ponds. But it, it doesn't always get cold enough to skate on uh, real uh, bodies of water because it, sometimes it's just not cold enough or it freezes um, enough so that it's safe. Um, so we, we, I would say we have a skatable pond or Charles River every three or four years. Um, and that always is super exciting when you're actually able to skate on, you know, a non-man-made created skating rink. So this looks really fun. And for kids who are able to skate, 
on ponds and for kids who are not, it, it looks, just looks like a nice way to share a winter experience. Um, let's see, the next one is Gigantosaurus, The Lost Egg. And I, I had read another Gigantosaurus book, um, and so this makes sense because they're coming up very quickly because this is a TV show. Um, it reminds me a little bit of that um, Ice Age-ish, like Ice Age, except this is more about the dinosaur period because they have these sort of very um, distinct dinosaur characters um, and, you know, kind of like Ice Age does um, where they all kind of are different types of creatures, but they all hang out together and they all have very strong and different personalities. Um, and so this looks more, um, you know, like another episode of the TV show. But for um, kids who like dinosaurs, which was my son always, um, what a great TV show. Um, and it's nice to have a book to um, accompany it. And so there's actually another one. Gigantosaurus don't cave in. So, yep. So uh, these are, looks, it looks like they're coming out fast and furiously. This must be a very successful TV show. My kids are too old now to watch uh, these types of TV shows, but it's too bad because my, my son would have loved it. Um, and then the interesting thing is Gigantosaurus is an actual dinosaur that was discovered fairly recently. Um, and it's supposed to be like the largest, um, I, yeah, I think the largest dinosaur ever discovered. Um, and I think this Gigantosaurus, maybe it's not the largest one, but it's, I think it's a, a predator that's larger than T-Rex, if I remember correctly. But, um, yeah, it's nice to know that there's a TV show revolving around, um, discoveries, recent discoveries, um. And it looks like they're weaving in some um, information about that, you know, about dinosaurs and what it's like to live there um, in kind of a fun way.